you change it to Spidey? Because one time in CFL, I won in Spider-Man costume. I placed higher than I ever did. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, I'm here. So first of all, let's just take a look at the screen. And yeah, yeah, that's you third of all. That you see first, you see Allah, and second. Yeah. So <laughs> my question is, why is Mario there? All right. Wait, wait. What do you mean, Mario? Why is Mario there? Because I mean Fox. Why is Mario there? I mean, the bracket reset Mario helped. Mario actually would, it, by paper, have the advantage in this matchup, but I have no idea what I was doing. I just thought maybe by pure luck or pure Mario instincts or... Oh, pure Mario? Just up smash? <laughs> I, I couldn't do it against him. He threw him. out, like, maybe one. That's yeah, it's because... It was because he never shore hop. He always ran at me. So I need to get, like, a power shield read, because I, I love... Those who were getting stuck in shield a lot. I was, because he comes running at me. And I've noticed with my matches in winners finals, every time he dashed attack, I couldn't shore hop because it keeps hitting me. I couldn't maybe spot dodge because the animation keeps going. So all I could do was power shield, get a punish, yeah. which I was working with Fox, but I can't secure the kill. Um, so it was really difficult. Cortez, winners finals, I was a book. Winners finals was a book. Oh my god, I literally... I feel like I felt like I was watching an episode of Rudy's Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow. Like, it, was, it, it was perfect. It was, so, I literally, like, I'm glad I didn't start losing finals right away. Because it gave me time to collect what I did wrong, what do I need to prove on, and what can I do better in Grand Finals. Yeah. And I'm going to Grand Finals. I went to that night and said, I'm going to beat Weavile again, go to Grand Finals. So, are you, are you happy with your performance today? Um, yes, because I beat people I've never beat before. Tazi in Winter Semis, or was it Winter's Round 3? Um, I never beat him before in bracket. He always beats me. It was either 0-2 uh, or 1-2. Um, so I was really happy that even though he had that game too, um, I'm glad I always do my research and that uh, you can smash DI multi-hit moves like that. So I made sure I quickly smashed DI up so I wouldn't be the first one to die or just hope by the smash guns. Well, and then game shot. three, I was like, take me to Duck Hunt. <laughs> take me to Duck Hunt already. Oh, dude. And then oh. Weavile, I was, uh, like... Dude, I'm sorry. The second game between you and Weavile was that... I, I believed in that one. I did, but yeah. you were going for the forward air force school thing the whole time. I was. And could... that's what got you. That was because you kept killing yourself, all and then you missed inputs. Be, and it was yeah, it was missed like, inputs because yeah, I love. What are you doing? I because I'm doing? I don't know if I'm too shaky or am I too nervous, but I've noticed especially my matches against Cortez, I end up when I flick the C stick to do the fastball forward air that I've been practicing. I think when I get nervous, I go for a downer, thinking I can spike. You know, like I want to send you down, so I'm gonna downer. You know, and that's not right. I gotta keep my head level. So that's something I need to improve as well, but I'm happy with my performance. I, I made it second, which I've never really done in a tournament before. I always see myself getting, if I see myself advancing, I get fourth or third or third the most. I, in fact, I never even got third at a tournament. So this is the highest place I ever do in the game I've got, and I love, like, I'm so happy with I was like, I've been practicing, and it pays off. 2 1, 3 0. Oh, I'm happy. And I, I kept that joy, like, even though from Cortez reading me, I gotta put a smile on, get my head back in the game, like, there's always next match, always next time. And like you said before, I'm gonna go watch these videos, see what I can prove. Yeah, beat me, but there's always next time. Yeah, there's always that one thing where you have to think about, make sure that you're adapting, and adapting in game is really hard sometimes. Yeah, it really is. And that's why it's really good to watch your own thing. Well, it yeah. seems like you set up the Smash Guards were on your side today, yeah. and that you probably should not change your tag to Spidey, which you did better today than I Don't change your tag to Spidey. That's true. Right. You know, listen, I will make fun of you for the rest of your life. <laughs> like, if a guy named Daddy is making fun of you the whole time... <laughs> I, 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 I get it. Yeah. I get it. Alright. Here's the thing, though. I'm, to, uh, I'm gonna be a stereotypical moment of Happy Mario. Yeah. You wouldn't be a Florida player with Happy Mario. Yeah. Or DK. No, no, you wouldn't be a player at all with a cloud. <laughs> think about it. Everyone is like Pocket Cloud, but I was that way too. But when I really think about certain matchups like Mario, I wouldn't want a Pocket Cloud. It's Nash, like, I don't want a Pocket Cloud. PK fire on my up beat, I die. It's like it's like Florida Falcon. Oh yeah, in, in LA, yeah. yeah like, it's it's like,
Yeah, in pound 2016. Yeah, I, I did it immediately. Dude, I thought Cortez's Mewtwo was I, I thought it was too, because I did. He had like one little thing, uh, one little piece where it was like a down grab and the jab into a turn on pivot grab. I'm like, ooh! Ooh! Yeah. ooh. And that's why I was like thinking oh, hard. Right. Well, you're about to get the sauce, dude. Yeah. But I played Leo Hart in CFL, who mains Mewtwo. And I love playing with him because he's just giving me the hand. But I learned from it. I'm like, wow, there's things Mewtwo never done. So I kept thinking, all right, let me pretend I'm fighting Leo Hart. Let me predict what he's going to do. I've been practicing, and it kind of paid off. Yeah. Uh, well, sir, yeah. thank you. By the way, guys, this is the man who runs the stream and takes care of all the equipment. I'm the one who does, yeah. I'm your Smash 4 guy. This is our melee god of Kissimmee. Thank you, Cortez, once again. I, I promised my niece, Vita, and my brothers, Sam, Ben, and David a shout-out, so thank you guys thank for watching. Thank you for letting him come. All, way, all, all of you, thank you for letting him come. I know, that's good, but like, you're watching like, no, you're not staying late for video games. So thank you for letting him come. We actually learned from him, too. I definitely learned. <laughs> Yeah, and definitely, even though most of our players left, I think they're going to take this time, go back to the vo the videos and just, re like, reminisce what I did wrong, what did the other person do better. So, they're definitely going to learn. Or definitely just going to go home and practice. Sure. Alright. Well, guys, tune in tomorrow for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Yeah. I want to give a shout-out to Leda Lee's always believing in me. Guys, yeah, shout-out to Drew. Uh, um... Man, shout out to the uh, community. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw up. <laughs> yeah, I was done! Uh, shout out for the community. Shout out to David, let me do this. And yeah, I'm gonna turn off. You can follow me, technically. Don't follow him. <laughs> you lost. <laughs>